Yo, what's up guys? So this is my Season of Discovery, Phase 3, Level 50, Reckoning PvP Quick Guide. I've been wanting to do some deep rest stuff this phase, but I keep finding myself going back to Reckoning. It's just too fun to me. We're going a bit into the Holy Talents this phase, it seems like the best way to go. We don't really have access to a lot of the things we want in the Ret Tree for Ret Reckoning to really work. That being said, I think melee classes are really starting to struggle in PvP, Casters just obliterate everybody, it's pretty rough, but this build can be tanky, has a lot of survivability, you can throw some off heals to your allies and yourself, and it has really good damage output. I think it's a very good spec to play in group play, and even in solo PvP when you're alone. Let's get right into it. Alright, I'm gonna go over the talents, because I always seem to forget that sometimes in videos. So we're 16, 25, 0. I'm gonna go over the uh, prop talents first. 5 Improved Devo Aura, 1 Redoubt, uh, 2 Guardian's Favor, 3 Precision, 3 Toughness, 1 Blessing of Kings, 2 Improved Hammer of Justice, 3 Improved Concentration Aura, and 5 Reckoning. So you want 3 Improved Concentration Aura so you can cast your heals, pretty much. And I mean, it helps the group out a little bit also. Um, res resisting Silence is nice. And then we go into the Holy Tree, kind of like last phase, we're going 5 uh, Divine Strength. We're just going 4 Improved Seal of Righteousness. And then we're going 5 Spiritual Focus, because you want to be able to cast your heals. And then, I know some people go cons Consecration, but I just feel like it really only helps in like the Rogue matchup. And you already have like an instant win against Rogues, so I just don't take this talent. And I just go to Unyielding Faith. Increases your chance to resist fear and disorient, disorient effects by an additional 10%. So, it's just nice. Being able to resist fear sometimes, you're almost like an orc. Yeah, those are the talents. Alright, onto the runes. We really didn't get a whole lot to work with this phase in terms of runes. There's a few that are okay. But there's nothing that just like really stands out to make like... DPS Paladin like, oh my god. No, nothing too crazy. So we got Fanaticism, I believe it's 18% crit, yep, increases your critical strike chance with holy spells by 18%. So that really only affects your heals, which is nice, your um, exorcism, and your judgment, I believe, and that's pretty much it. Like, that, those are the only things it really affects, so, but it's like the best head rune to use. Like, what else did we get on the head? Let me see, I have it pulled up right here. Um... Wrath? I mean, we could use Wrath, but realistically, it just isn't really that good either. We don't use Consecrate, so it's like, you need Consecrate for that to really be anything useful. Um, yeah, it, the Improved Sanctuary isn't really that good, I don't think. Maybe if you use the Sanctuary Talent, it could be okay, but I just feel like the, with this build, it just wouldn't really be that good. I feel like with like a one hand and shield build, it could be good. Because you, you need your, it's, it, this thing is for like block and stuff, you need a shield for it to really work. So it's like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I could mess around with like a one hand and shield build later and maybe we, we could make it work, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. We use a seal of martyrdom all the way. Uh, and then a uh, improved hammer of wrath, I think is like the best um, wrist uh, rune to use. There's purifying power is okay, but it's just like. Reduces a cooldown on Exorcism and Holy Wrath by 50%, but the only one you really care about is uh, Exorcism. And then the fact that Holy Wrath is still a casted talent, it's like, and then it only hits Undead and Demons, it stuns them, but it's just like, you're doing that to pets. And it costs 2 seconds to cast, just not worth it. At least in PvP, just not worth it. There might be some niche fights in PvE where it comes up, but that's about it. We go to like, Crusader Strike on the hands. Sheath of Light on the uh, belt, Exorcist on the legs, and Sacred Shield. So what's cool is Sacred Shield, Sheath of Light, and Fanaticism all kind of like combo with each other. Because you throw a Sacred Shield on yourself or someone, and you do one melee swing on someone, it's proccing your Sheath of Light, which gives you uh, a lot more spell power, and it allows your heals to just be really crazy as like a... Uh, as like a DPS Paladin pretty much. So yeah, it's really nice. And then, uh, I mean, you could use Divine Storm. I just think that Seal of Martyrdom is just way better. But yeah, that's the runes. Nothing nothing too crazy. 
Um, we didn't really get a whole lot of uh, good stuff in terms of runes this phase. All right, onto the gearing. We have like so much hit gear now this phase. It's kind of nice. And we also have a PvP set, multiple PvP sets. Um, for Reckoning, especially with Holy Reckoning, I think the best way to do it is three and three. So I use three of the uh, Knight set and then three of the Lamellar set. So the Lamellar is like the spell power set. And the Knight one is just your typical melee, strength, stam, agility kind of thing. And uh, you want to use the pieces with crit. And I think the helmet has hit on it, which is nice. Yeah, it has one hit, which is honestly sick. It has one crit. But you want to use uh, the plate of the legs, the chest, and the helm. And then you want to use the lamellar of the boots, gauntlets, and shoulders. The reason why is because of the stats end up being the best. Because all these have like crit on them. And hit on the helmet. And then the gloves for lamellar also have crit, which is nice. I don't know why they didn't give the plate gauntlets hit or not hit um crit it just made more sense to put crit on there instead of here but they put them here so i don't know blizzard just didn't do very well designing that stuff i uh, also use the uh, highlander plate girdle because it has one crit we have 14.5 crit unbuffed with this um build which is nice um as far as like rings and all that stuff go you want, um, you could use like Blackstone Ring or like the new Wild God Ring from the, uh, Wild God thing. It's the same exact ring as the, the Blackstone Ring from, from Mara. Has one hit on it. So you get your hit chance to six, but you want to be sitting at like five or six percent hit. Um, Breath of the Wild is good. And then there's that new trinket. Um, I think it's called, uh, something of the guardians it's from the uh the same uh the, the emerald incursion exalted trinket it's 10 stam and on you 70 attack power that's the trinket you want but if you can't get that yet this this is a good fallback it gives you a one hit and spell hit and then one crit and one spell crit so it's a uh, it's pretty nice as far as uh weapons you just want Parasomnia for Reckoning because you're gonna hit the hardest with it on your wreck bombs and then uh, Yeah, it's pretty much it for gearing just prio strength stam um, And then get a little bit of spell power and you're gonna get the spell power with that lamellar set And on top of that you have sheath of light so you don't really have to worry too much about stacking any spell power but spell power does help in I'm critting like 700 flash of lights on like a melee DPS like build which is pretty sick the only thing i wish that we got was wrath art of war so that we could like attack while getting an instant cast flash of light because i don't really have any problems with the uh, mana like a lot of people complain about mana but like i usually if i'm like low i'm already going to die like it's nothing like i'm not sitting there like starved for mana it's like I don't know. Or, like, the only other time I go oom um is if I'm just, like, hard cast healing, like, for, like, a while straight. Like, having MP5 would be nice on gear, but it's just kind of hard to get that right now unless you have, like, a lot of, like, spell power gear. And I don't know. Just not really worth it, in my opinion. But yeah, overall, pretty fun build to play. Uh, I don't think it's the best. I don't think melee or paladin are even the best right now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel, it would help me out a lot. Um, I stream most Mondays and Fridays over on Twitch, and uh, that's about all I gotta say. Thanks for watching the video. Peace.